Glass blowing is a very unique medium. It's 1200 degrees molten glass and it's just inches from your fingers and you're feeling the heat and you're, you're absorbed by keeping it on center and it takes you from everything that's in your head and it clears it. It gives you those pure moments of joy. I grew up in Whitehorse, Yukon, and right now I have a glass blowing studio. When I was at art school, so I noticed that I could take glass blowing, and I thought, who gets a chance to do that? And so I signed up for a first year course, and then I went on to second year, and by the end of second year, my my husband and I said, boy, this gives us something so incredible to return home with. We are called the Happiness Factory. We uh, had a man walk in the very first year of running and said, you need to change your name. You shouldn't be called Mel Studios. You need to be called the Happiness Factory. And uh, I, I think it, it's part of past histories with the death of my daughter and, and that reason to build a studio. I knew that we had to balance out those fractures in our life. And how do you balance it out? You balance it out by just pure joy and happiness. We're a glass blowing studio, but we're also a teaching studio. You get a, a shy seven-year-old in here, and you introduce them to 1200 degree molten glass, it just automatically gives them confidence. You bring in a group of employees that hardly know each other, and they're mingling over 1200 degree molten glass. That's a bonding agent. Inclusivity that everyone can play with 1200 degree molten glass. By having many people uh, diverse backgrounds, it, uh, it adds to our lives, it uh, rounds us out, it, it, um, it nourishes us. And, and I think happiness is hard work, but it feels so good, so it's worth, it's worth all that hard work.